Hi folks, you are watching PTN. This is the Pocono Television Network. As always, we're happy to have you here with us watching about all the great things in the Pocono Mountains. We are at Edge of the Woods Outfitters right here in Delaware Water Gap with Chuck. He's going to tell us all about his wonderful operation, which is very well known, highly professional, and something you don't want to miss. And we're going to also ask him some questions about Delaware Water Gap itself, which has a really, really great history right here in the Pocono Mountains. Chuck, thanks for being with us. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do. Thanks, Chris. We do canoes, kayaks, and rafts here on the Delaware River. Our trips take place within the National Park through the Delaware Water Gap. Lazy River paddling, great for families and all ability levels. It's great for first timers. We've got bike rentals. We've got a Appalachian Trail backpacker shop. Services the Appalachian Trail hikers that come through town. So right here in the gap, we're just minutes away from the National Park. We're two blocks from the Appalachian Trail and very close to the river access points. So talk to me a little bit about the gap itself. How much has it really changed in the last 50 to 100 years? Well, it's going back a long way, but it started off as the original vacation destination for America with the trains brought people out from New York City. Since then, the highways came along and people kind of dispersed. And then in the 80s, we had a big vacation boom with the big resorts that came. Uh, they went in decline and then they built brand new resorts. So now we're in a new vacation boom with all of the water parks and casinos that are in the area now. It's bringing lots of great people to the area and they get out and enjoy the outdoors in the national park as well. So the gap is really beautiful. Tell us just a little bit about the waterway. You were just telling us before about how clean it is. It's the cleanest uh, river on the East Coast. It's protected all the way to its source in the Catskill Mountains. It's the longest undammed river on the east, and here in this park, we've got about 40 miles of uh, river. And there's no private property. It's everybody, everyone can come and enjoy the river on their own terms, whether it's fishing or swimming or boating. Whatever you want to do, you can go out and enjoy it. It's perfect for everybody. So then if a guest came to, to visit you folks and they wanted to rent a kayak or canoe, or say a canoe, and then they wanted to camp somewhere along the river, can they do that? How would they do that? Absolutely, we've got trips that are two hours long and we've got trips that are three days long. So depending on uh, what group you have, what kind of trip you're desiring, we can set you up with whatever you're looking for. The multi-day canoe camping trips are outstanding. Primitive campsites are really some of the best on the East Coast. Primitive, wow, what's that mean? What's a primitive campsite? The primitive campsite is a site that is not accessible by the road. There is a fire ring and that's about it. So it's not a glamping site, right? No glamping. It's not a glamping site. It's maybe for a more seasoned camper or somebody who wants to get off the beaten path, you know, not be uh, bothered by the crowds or the people with the cars and all that. So if you want to really experience a, a real wilderness area, this is a perfect place to come camping. So what about the fishing? I, I heard that this is one of the best freshwater fisheries in the U.S., correct? That's correct, yep. The macroinvertebrates uh, tell the tale. That's the uh, basic building block of, you know, the sign of a healthy river. Then you've got all manner of amphibians, um, great selection of fish uh, from shad to smallmouth bass, and then lots of birds of prey that are really prevalent in this park. If you go out on one of our trips, you're almost definitely gonna see a bald eagle. They've made a huge home here in the park and it's great to see the uh, the whole ecosystem, you know, from start to finish. So I know we were on the river one day, we actually saw a bald eagle come down and, and, and go for a fish in the river and come right back out. So you see that pretty often, right? We do, yeah, all the time. So just one more question I wanted to ask, what's, what's your favorite part about Delaware Water Gap and the river itself? Um, I mean, you've made a living with it and you've made a vo vocation with it. I think you're very passionate about it. Well, the Gap is a special place. The village of Delaware Water Gap is a great place to, there's uh, wonderful restaurants here. This is a great place to come and decompress before you get on the river and also after your trip. We're so close to the hiking trails and the river and the biking trail that it's really just a great place to come. If you have any kind of uh, interest in outdoor adventure, this is the perfect place to start. And that's one of the things I did forget. So the hiking piece of it. So you can really hike pretty far along the river, right up into New York, correct? And from here. Yeah, the Appalachian Trail, you know, we've got, you know, 30, 40 miles of Appalachian Trail that goes through this uh, park. And, you know, this is the southernmost point uh, in New Jersey and the northernmost point in Pennsylvania for the Appalachian Trail. Thank you, Chuck, so much for being with us today and giving us your time. This is Chuck, 
He owns the Edge of the Woods Outfitters right here in Delaware Water Gap. It's a wonderful place to visit. Chuck can set you up with everything on the river and everything you want to know, he's the guy you want to ask. He's got wonderful guides and it's a wonderful place. So please start your day here in Delaware Water Gap. It could be a beautiful fall day like this. We'd be happy to have you. For PTN, I'm Chris Barrett. As always, thanks for watching.